It's not a secret anymore. Kamala came in front and said enough is enough. Here is my plan for social security recipients. We have all the details but first let's watch this very tiny video clip that is very important then we'll come back with the update and give you the details that you are waiting for. Um, for the first time in history more than 1 million people are waiting on Social Security Administration to process their initial disability wow. claim. Let me say that again. That's one million people are now waiting. You heard it right. One million people are waiting on their Social Security benefits. Remember that Social Security recipients are close to 70 million people. And yes, they are struggling right now. But we finally have the detail that we've been waiting for a very long time. Look at this. How Kamala Harris' plan for Social Security compares to former President Donald J. Trump. Finally, she revealed her plan for Social Security. We've been waiting for this for quite a long time and we finally have all the details and we are going to break it down for you in this very important video. So before we get into the details, I have a little request to please smash the like button on this video as it helps this video and the channel as well. So let's get into the details first and see that what do we have for you and how Kamala Harris plan compares to Donald J. Trump differs. So let's look at this. The Social Security Administration faces a looming funding crisis over the next decade and the major 2024 presidential candidate have different plans for the ailing retirement safety net programs. Yes, you heard it right. Things are changing rapidly and things needs to change rapidly for Social Security recipients because their benefits hasn't been changed in past 53 years you heard it absolutely right in past 53 years these recipients they are close to 70 million people are waiting for a change in their social security benefits such as an increase as well as increase according to the inflation which they never get one thing that we would like to tell you right here that is very very important we all need to understand that social security recipients are struggling right now and there is no doubt about it they need some sort of support some sort of financial aid some sort of stimulus check as soon as possible and we recall one petition started by the senior citizen league calling for a 1400 dollar one time targeted stimulus check for millions means close to 70 million social security recipients so if you support that then i humbly request you to please write in the comment section I support $1,400 check. Again, if you support this one-time targeted stimulus check for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, Veteran Affairs, Railroad Retirement Disability, and all fixed income beneficiaries, then write in the comment section, I support $1,400 check. Remember that this plan is finally here and let's get into the details and see what do we have. And don't forget, we are are going to show you the complete video clip from Congressman Ferguson where he said some things that needs to be done immediately. Yes, you heard it absolutely right. So stay with us till the end of this video to watch that entire video clip as well. And first, let's get into the details and see how these plans between Donald J. Trump and Kamala Harris when it comes to Social Security differs and compares. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald J. Trump respectively the Democratic and the Republican presidential nominee have both made promises about Social Security benefits for the American people. Almost 70 million, let me repeat it, almost 70 million Americans receive Social Security payments every single month. The benefits support seniors in their retirement, disabled Americans and survivors of beneficiaries, but the future of the Social Security Administration has been in jeopardy for years. 
as more baby boomers retire into the system. A recent board of trustees report found that Social Security is scheduled to run out of money for full payments by the mid 2030s. Yes, you heard it absolutely right. There's a sword hanging on top of the Social Security beneficiaries and their benefits. Once the funding shortfall hits, Americans on Social Security would receive 83% of their earned benefits, which would equate to about $324 less on average each month and an annual reduction of $3,900. Where we're talking about to increase the benefits, it will reduce the benefits. See how shameless this is that social security recipients who are seniors who we claim that we respect the most are struggling and we're not doing anything for them right now. Harris has routinely said that protecting and even expanding social security benefits is our top priority. Yes, you heard it right. Expanding and protecting social security benefits is a top priority. Why not increasing the benefits according to the inflation? Well, a number of experts are saying the reason that she's not talking about increasing the benefits because she's refusing this fact that inflation is here because it's election year and she needs to win. We all know that millions of people are still struggling to find a job. They are not able to put food on the table for themselves and their loved ones. They cannot fulfill the basic necessities, which is quite shameful to see. Well, Harris is under pressure from the progressive wing of the party. See Bernie Sanders' proposal to increase social security benefits. That was she should focus on to improve social security benefits. Robert Shapiro, a political science professor at Columbia University, she will at least try to protect current benefits and cost of living increases. Very important. Remember that social security recipients need an increase as soon as possible so they can cope up with this worst inflation which no one is accepting except the Republican Party and the former President Donald J. Trump. Let us know in the comments below what do you think about this situation because yes social security recipients are struggling and they need some sort of support as soon as possible. So let's go and watch the entire clip from Mr. Ferguson from Congress Ways and Means Committee hearing where he talked about social security and the problems the social security recipients are facing right now. So first, let's watch it and then we'll come back and talk about it. So good morning again. Um, for the first time in history, more than 1 million people are waiting on Social Security Administration to process their initial disability claim. Let me say that again. That's 1 million people are now 1 waiting. 1 million people. On average, claims are taking 220 days to be decided. That's more than 100 days longer than it was in 2019 and more than 150 days longer than the Social Security Administration, what it defines um, as a minimum level of performance. The real, world, the real world consequences for these individuals um, who are unable to, to work and wait for their disability decision is devastating. Many of these families and many of these individuals really get hurt by these delays. To help illustrate what the Social Security Administration's claim process looks like from a claimant's perspective, I'd like to submit for the record a statement provided to us by a beneficiary who waited more than a year for a decision that should have taken months, if not weeks. So let me read this statement to you. It was a semi-typical day. I was leaning on the countertop in our hall bathroom waiting for my two-year-old to finish going to the toilet. My husband was in the bedroom sleeping off the previous night's third shift from his job but had his phone on full blast in case I needed help. Suddenly, the muscles around my ribs cramped and I could barely get air in. I pulled out my cell phone and called my husband and said one quiet word help as i went to my knees i thought to myself i'm going to die on the bathroom floor in front of my two-year-old at that moment the social security administration had denied my claim let me repeat it at that moment the social security administration had denied my claim for disability stating that i was capable of work if my husband had not brought my rescue medication i would have died that day now you can see that what's going on right here the social security benefits and the rules needs to change as soon as possible. It hasn't been changed in past 53 years. There's a lot of transitioning period in our life, in our atmosphere, in our global warming. But what about social security? Nothing at all. 
so let us know in the comments below what do you think about this whole situation and are you also suffering with the same sort of situation let us know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon we give you all the updates every single day we will see you in the next video very soon till then please take care and have a nice day